today we're gonna to be making for you a really delicious and simple packed full of flavor soup with butternut squash and chickpea. All right, so let's get started and show you how simple it is to make this. All right, so now we're in our nice organic garden and we're gonna be picking some of these gorgeous beets here. This one looks beautiful. Look at that, nice fresh. We're also gonna be using the beet greens too. So we have one, I think we're gonna pick three today. Let's see, which other one do I want? Maybe this guy looks beautiful. Yeah. Shake that dirt off. Look at those greens, beautiful. Okay, we'll have that one. And let's find one more. Oh, this guy's beautiful. Okay. Oh, and he has a baby too. <laughs> All right. I think that'll be perfect. Okay. Oh, and we just located one more. Look at this guy. I just couldn't resist. We have to pick him. He's just beautiful. Look at that. Perfect specimen. All right. All right. Now let's go get cooking these beauties. So with our gorgeous beets that we just picked from the garden, we're now gonna get cleaning them. We're going to separate and we're gonna be saving these beet greens because we're gonna be using those. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to cut off the beet greens and we're gonna save those here. All right, so now that they're all clean, I also just rinsed all the excess dirt off. Now we're just gonna simply peel them. And with nice fresh beets, the peel is really thin and easy to remove. So we'll just take all of the peel off and get them ready to roast. So now we're just gonna simply get these into a nice, relatively same shape and size dice for roasting them in the oven. As you can see, this one looks a little bit different. He is a traditional Italian beet. I had gotten some other beet seeds from the States, but he's an Italian beet, so he looks a little different. So let's get these all diced up and ready for roasting. So for roasting the beets, we're just gonna put a little bit of olive oil first in the pan. Then we're gonna get these beautiful beets that we just cut up in here. And if you're smart, which I usually do, and I did not today, put gloves on. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna give those a nice toss in the olive oil first. And then we're gonna do a little salt and pepper on them and then roast them in the oven at 350. So let me just get the salt and pepper and we'll do that right now.
These are cooking beautifully. So they've been roasting for about 15 minutes. Of course, depending on the size, obviously, and your oven, it will depend on how long they take to cook. But these are looking really good. As you can see, they're not done yet, but they have been sweating and they're looking really good. So I'm gonna just put them back in the oven now that I've just stirred them and we'll cook them for a little bit longer. So we have the pan here. We're just gonna take some fresh extra virgin olive oil Drizzle that in the pan, generous tablespoon, I would say. And then we're going to be putting in one onion that's finely diced. And we're just gonna cook that until it gets translucent. We'll saute that around, let that saute. All right, so we're just gonna let this cook down a little bit till it gets translucent, and then we'll be adding the other ingredients. Now that the onions, not that you can see because it's really steaming here, have gotten nice and translucent, we're going to add the juniper berries. Let's throw those little juniper berries in here, which add a lot of flavor. Okay. And then we're going to be adding the butternut squash. Yum. It already smells so good. Can you just let them toast up a little? Yeah, just toast up a little bit. And then we'll be adding the water or the broth. So now we're going to be adding some fresh ground pink Himalayan salt to taste, and then we're going to be adding some fresh ground black pepper as well. All right, so now that this is starting to get a little toasted and caramelized, it smells really good. What we're going to be doing is now we're going to be adding a liter of water, or this would be when you'd be adding your stock. Whichever you prefer to add stock, whether it's vegetable or chicken, or to add water to this. So you're going to be adding a liter of liquid. Let me just give that a quick stir to get all the yumminess off the bottom here. Okay. Now we're going to be adding bay leaves and chickpeas. This is one can of chickpeas. Put that in there. And then we're going to be adding our amazing, delicious, fresh um, beet greens that we just picked this morning. Just a nice fine dice on that, including the stalks. Okay, so let's put that right in here and that'll cook down almost like spinach. So it'll be perfect in here. So we're just gonna stir that in and we're gonna let this cook and meld and we'll show you the progress. Look at the beautiful colors. So you have the gorgeous beet greens in there and then the butternut squash. Oh, looks so good. So what you wanna do once you get the water or your stock in there is you wanna bring this to a boil and then you're gonna let it cook or simmer for about 30 minutes covered, all right? So we'll continue to show the, the progress as this continues to develop in flavor. So now that it's come to a nice boil, we're going to put it down to a simmer and cover it and cook it for 30 minutes. So it's been cooking for 30 minutes on a low simmer. Let's check this out. Oh, it smells so good. So as you can see, the beet greens have cooked nicely. Butternut squash looks great. So now all we're gonna do, because the soup is done, is we're gonna add the roasted beets that we roasted earlier. The reason we didn't add it earlier is because we didn't want the soup to be pink or look like red wine. So you put them in at the very end or right before serving. And if you'd like, if you're doing it for a group, you could always just put it a little bit into each individual bowl and then pour the soup right over, whichever you prefer. So we're just gonna put that right in there and see how it instantly turns it a little bit. That's okay. All right, so now it's done and let's get serving. All right, so the soup just finished and it smells and looks so good. So now we're gonna try it. Let's just see, do you see how beautiful that is? Oh, all right, so let's see 
how good it is, if it tastes as good as it looks. See if we can get a little bit of everything in here, a little beet. Ooh, it smells so good. All right, you can probably see the steam coming up. Mm. Really, really, really good. And I love all the fresh vegetables in there. Really nice hearty soup and so easy to make as you just saw. Mm. Really good with all the fall vegetables in there. Definitely a keeper. So I'll put the recipe for this down below and you'll also notice the link for the patron sponsorship. Want to thank you in advance for that as well. And we'll be adding some new little perks for that in the future with all different videos and some fun tips too. So for now, we'll say ciao for now and we'll see you soon. Ciao.